to you about, I want to introduce you to the Dadgad tuning. Um, it's a very common tuning for fingerstyle guitar players. In fact, I think it's probably, other than open D, it's probably the most common um, tuning for fingerstyle players. And um, they've been using it a lot since the 60s. It kind of finds its origins in Ireland and Celtic music. Um, and uh, that's kind of why I'm playing my Loudon today because this guitar was made in, uh, this, it's an F22? Yeah, F22. It was made in Ireland and uh, it just loves being in, in this tuning. And it just sounds, it's like the body was made to be in this tuning. In this tuning. Um, I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar to it in just a second. And uh, but first, I'll just, just show you, like I said, the fingerstyle players use it a lot, but also rock players like Jimmy Page love this. that is that's actually a really easy thing to do in dadgad tuning if you were to try to do that in open tuning well you probably in standard tuning you probably couldn't do it but um, so that's that's kind of where I'm gonna go ahead and tune right now back up to standard uh, tuning E at Denny's get bad eggs right E A D oops I already got A there what am I doing Okay, so now I'm in standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E, and we're, all we have to do is change three strings, and, and all three of them we're going to lower down a whole step, okay? So get your tuner out. I like the Snark tuner because um, it has a really big clip-on thing, and, and the loud one in particular has kind of a, a beveled headstock, and most of the other tuners just <laughs> flip right off. I've been playing and have it go flying across the room. Uh, so this one actually has a pretty good, nice, deep uh, clip, uh, clip on here. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune my E string, my bottom string, down a whole step to E to D. Okay. So you'll need a chromatic tuner. Okay. And you might have to adjust the other strings because when you loosen strings, uh, it changes the tension on your neck. So my other strings kind of went sharp as I went flat on the lower on the low E string. And I'm going to go down on the B string, the second string, I'm going to take that down to A. Okay? And that's the middle part of GAD. Okay, so we have D, A, D, there's our DAD. Power chord. Part of the reason why it's a really popular um, tuning for fingerstyle players. You'll see a lot of guys kind of come over the top and play power chords or whatever. I can't do that kind of stuff. But, uh, but you can get like the root fifth root thing going on on the bottom really easily. And then, and then we go to the top E string and we take that down to D as well. So down a whole step, loosen the string. Now everything's messed up, okay? So you can't, the things you know in standard tuning will not work in dad game. Like if I were to play like an E chord here, um, it's gonna sound a little on the, it's not gonna sound like an E chord. See, or if I play a G chord, it's not gonna work, okay? But dad gad is not so much about strumming, although that, that's kind of what Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Page did there. It's more about finger style, and it's really what I, I think is, Dadgad really reveals itself when you start experimenting. And I'm going to show you a couple little things. First off, I'm going to show you how to play a D5 chord, okay? Because right now we have a D sus chord or a D suspended fourth chord. We have a D, A, D, G, A, D, name of the tuning, okay? But if we were to, to simplify that just to three notes, because we only have three notes there, D, G, A, that would be, that's a sus chord. And that wants to resolve to this. Uh, let's see. So it creates this tension. It's a mild tension, but it creates a tension that wants to be resolved to mi major, or it can resolve to minor, okay? But, but by itself, all open, nothing but zeros, it's a D sus chord, or D sus four, okay? Because that, that uh, G, that's the sus, is the fourth note in the D scale. Check this out. D, E, F, G. And there's the four. One, two, 
three, four. And then so we have D sus. To get rid of that and to bring it down to a simple D5, so it's nothing but Ds and As, you put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, and that's a big nice. And I would suggest this moving that finger around and playing around with that. You just have fun messing around with that. This tuning is really, really designed to experiment and just to kind of seek out things and let your ear be the judge of if something's working or not, okay? So now that's a D5 chord. Let me show you a D major and a D minor chord, a very simple one. Uh, if we want a D major chord, we just put our third finger over here on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and that gives us our F sharp. So now we have, we have an A, we have a D, F sharp, and we have a D. So that's our happy okay? If I want D minor, all I do is I take that F sharp and I go down a fret. So instead of playing at the fourth fret, I'm going to put my second finger on the third fret of the fourth string, and that's going to be an F. So I'm going to have D, F, A. Back to D major. Back to D minor. I'm just naturally playing in 6, 8, 2 in that funny. And there's our D5 again. Okay. One thing you could do is make the D chord again, the, the, the major chord take off your first finger and you get this really nice F sharp and G ringing out against each other and I would call that a D4 chord. The notes in that would be D, F sharp, G, and A. It's a little different than the D suspended 4 chord because there's a third in here, but check it out. Isn't that great? It's an awesome chord. Okay, so basically what I want you to notice is that we have three D strings, right? We have three, we've Normally when you're in standard tuning, you have five different notes, E, A, D, G, B, and there's another E, uh, but five different notes. In dadgad, you only have three notes, and half of them are Ds, and two, two more of them are As, and there's one G. So anything we do to one of the D strings, we can do to all of the D strings, because if it works over the... One thing to notice, okay? And the same thing's true with the two A strings. So if something works on the A string, it'll work on both the A strings. Okay, another thing you can notice is that if we just play nothing but the fourth fret note on every and any string, even on the G string, but we, I'm gonna put my First finger down, so we, have, we start with the D5 chord. All of those create a very major tonality. We have a lot of F sharps and we have a lot of C sharps. So that makes a very D major tonality. Like I said, it's... Okay, now also the same could be said if we do nothing but third frets. We're gonna get a very, if we go third fret on any of the strings, even, even, on, the, uh, even on the G string, but again, I'm gonna avoid the G string at this point and just play the bottom three and the top two. Um, but if I just put my second finger on um, the third fret, you get a very, minor, bluesy, beautiful. Very game score kind of sounding, right? Uh, play like, oh, I want to play a, an A minor chord or a C minor chord or a G minor chord. Um, that's obviously, everything you know in standard tuning is not going to translate. It's not going to, it's not going to easily uh, transfer. So you're going to have to learn some new shapes. I, I've done um, a couple videos on that and so I'm going to put cards here. 
Um, and one is called Play Most Any Song in uh, Dad Gad. <laughs> and I got a lot of grief for that. <laughs> Some people didn't like the, the colloquialism of the most any song. Why didn't you say almost any song? Okay, so play almost any song and not any song. But any song you can take down to, um, to major or minor chords, you can kind of replicate in Dad Gad. Now granted, it's going to have a very D-centric sound. So if the song isn't going to work in the key of D, it's probably not going to work in Dad Gad, okay? Because you've got a lot of Ds here to deal with. Um, and then the other thing is I have a video, uh, I think it's two videos out, um, and they are um, play, uh, see, some fun chords in Dad Gad, okay? So check out those videos because those will help you um, be able to play, maybe if you need to be able to play a song or two, to strum a song out um, and keep your guitar in dad get tuning that's great but mainly really what I, what I want to do is I want to encourage you just to experiment maybe videotape you know film yourself or um, or record yourself messing around I usually when I'm in the studio I almost always have when I'm experimenting I almost have the tape run uh, the tape I mean you know the digital, digital tape <laughs> Uh, so that just in case I do something like, oh man, that was cool. It's not like gone. It's there. I can still maybe try to figure it out. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully it makes, gives you a new excitement if you're kind of in a rut with the guitar. Hopefully this will give you some new road to travel down. That's the beauty of this instrument. Um, it's just, there's, there's so many styles and so many different tunings and so many different types of guitars and and, and styles of music that you can play. And it's just an unlimited instrument. I always say... It's, it's one of the easiest instruments to start on, but it's pretty much impossible to master. I mean, you've got masters in all these different genres on the guitar, but no one has mastered all the genres on guitar. And so it's just, a couple guys have come close and I'm not one of them. <laughs> but, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, maybe turn on notifications. Please share this video too. I, I, I love it when um, people discover my free lessons and uh, I really appreciate all of you. God bless you, bye-bye.